Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Magli here, and today it's everything hips and glutes. So we will be really working that glute contraction so we can find length in the hip flexors to help with that hip flexibility, but also with the hip mobility. So if you spend a lot of time working at your desk and you're not moving the hips and the glutes around very much, this one is definitely for you. So when you're ready, I'll see you on the mat. straight into our beautiful hip mobility flow today. I invite you to come to a tabletop position. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, spreading the fingers wide for a strong foundation and you press the ground away with the hands, navel to spine, finding the sense of lifting of energy from our center. Beautiful, let's find the breath. So flowing through three cat cows on the inhale, we drop the belly, shine the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, ripple through, pressing into the hands. Inhale, drop the belly, shine the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, rippling through, dropping the head at the bottom. Last one, inhale to open. We lead with the tailbone as we exhale. Beautiful. Come back to centre. So flat back, navel to spine. From here. Let's tuck the right toes under, and then lift the knee to hover just off the mat. Then without moving the hips, let's bring the knee towards the chest, out to the side, and then the sole of the foot up so the knee faces the back of the space, and then back to center. Beautiful. Two more times. Knee out to the side, sole of the foot up, knee back. Back to center, try and move with your breath as we inhale, we open to the side and back. Exhale, back down. Amazing. Other side. Tuck the left toes under and then bring the knee up to hover. As we inhale, send the knee out to the side, sole of the foot up, knee back. Exhale to hover. Beautiful. Inhale, open the hip, send the knee back. Exhale, centre, last one. Inhale, open. Exhale, back and down. Amazing. Tuck the toes under, walk the hands forward one hand length. Shift the weight forward and then press back to downward facing dog. Pedaling through the feet, bending the knees one at a time. Find a bit of physicality to your practice. Find your breath. Stretching out the backs of the legs, hamstrings, waving the, waving the head, shaking the head. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no tension in the neck. One more breath here. And then let's bring the knees back down to the air. Beautiful. I invite you to come to face the side of your mat and come to kneeling with the hips lifted. Then let's bring the right foot out to the side. So the toes are facing um, the small edge of your mat. The knee is directly on top of the right ankle. We create this perfect square with the leg. Hips on top of the left knee. I invite you to bring your hands to the heart center. Focus here on pressing the hips forward as we send this right knee out to the side. <sighs> really using the glute muscles to engage the bum to help find that flexibility and length in the hip flexors. Beautiful. From here, let's bring the right forearm onto the right thigh. Inhale, reach the left fingertips towards the sky. And then as you exhale, bring the left hand back down. Don't move the right toes, simply bring the heel so it's in line with the toes, so the foot is in line with the edge of the mat. Reach the right hand towards the sky. Beautiful. Bring that heel back in, bend the knee, inhale, lift the left hand towards the sky, right forearm on thigh. And then exhale, left hand down, bring the heel so it's in line with the foot, right hand to sky. One more time, open the knee, open the hip, inhale, left fingertips up. Exhale, lengthen the right leg, right fingertips to sky. Beautiful. Come back up one more time. Inhale, open that knee. And then exhale, come back to centre. By open the knee, I definitely meant the hip. <laughs> Let's bring the left foot out towards the side this time. 
So left foot in line with the right knee, the left knee is in line with the left foot. So again, we have this perfect square. I invite you to bring your hands to the heart center. Instead of sending the bum back, find a gentle tuck in that tailbone, really pressing the hips forward as we send this left knee directly on top of the ankle. Pause here. Engaging the glutes. <sighs> Amazing. Okay, let's find our flow. So forearm of the left arm comes down on the thigh. Inhale, reach the right fingertips towards the sky. And then exhale, right hand down. Lengthen the left leg by bringing the heel in line with the toes, left fingertips up. Inhale, bend the knee, bring the heel back towards the body, right fingertips up. Exhale, right hand down, left fingertips up, heel away, beautiful. Once more, inhale, come back up, bend the knee. Exhale, release, reach left fingertips up. Last inhale to come up, keep sending the hips forward. And exhale, release. Whew. Okay, find your downward facing dog in your own time. Feel free to pedal the feet, bend the knees, find length in the legs, backs of the legs, hamstrings, reaching the tailbone towards the sky. Two breaths here. Find what you need, what feels good, meet yourself there. Okay, from our downward facing dog, so in our downward facing dog, our feet are hip width apart. So here I invite you to turn the feet to a 45 degree angle without moving the balls of the feet so that the heels come to touch. Okay, then let's walk the hands one hand length towards the body so we shorten the stance of our downward facing dog. Here, let's bend the knees out to the side, we lift the heels and sit the bum back down towards the heels so it's like a frog slash child pose. Lengthen the legs, find your downward facing dog, keep the heels together. Beautiful, bend the knees, sit the bum down, melt the heart, and lengthen the legs, heels to earth. Beautiful, once more, bending the knees, find an inhale, lift the gaze, and then exhale, lengthen the legs. Beautiful, bring the heels back in line with the toes, find your downward facing dog. Walk the feet towards the hands and the hands towards the feet so you come in the middle of your mat. In the middle, hanging in ragdoll, no tension in the neck, allow it to be loose. Give yourself a swing side to side if it feels good or perhaps stillness is what you prefer. Okay, soft knees, take an inhale, press into the feet, roll all the way up to standing. Exhale, release the shoulders back and down. Amazing. Okay, feet are hip width apart. So let's bend the knees and bring the hands to heart center. So sitting that bum back for our chair pose. Gaze down at your knees, make sure that you can see the toes. Pressing the ground away with the feet. Strong legs, strong glutes, strong body, strong mind. <laughs> Stay with me, two more breaths. Perhaps you decide to take it a bit further and do some pulsating actions. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, fold, lengthen the legs. Sure, let it all go. Soft knees roll all the way up to standing. Release the shoulders back and down at the top. Amazing. Okay, so we're still in the middle of our mat and we're facing the front. I invite you to bring your hands to heart center. We're going to find a bit of a balance, so from knee towards the chest and then to warrior three. So when you're ready, shift the weight towards the left foot. Inhale, bring the right knee up towards the chest as much as you can. And then exhale, send the right leg behind you, heel towards the back of your space as you shift the weight forward. Beautiful. Two more. Inhale, come up, knee towards the chest. Exhale, send the leg long behind you. Take a halfway fall. Last one, strong in the standing leg. Inhale, knee to chest. 
Exhale, send the right leg behind you. Beautiful. Take one more inhale to come up. And exhale, release the right foot back down. Shift the weight, swap sides. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, find your warrior three, sending the left leg long behind you. Navel to spine. Inhale, right knee up as much as you can. Squeeze the knee. Exhale, fold halfway as you lengthen the left leg behind you. It's okay if you're a bit wobbly, be playful. Inhale, last one. Exhale, find your warrior three. You're doing amazing. Beautiful. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, release. Reach the arms towards the sky as you inhale. Fold forwards. Exhale, give yourself a swing side to side. Okay, from here, walk the hands and the feet to your downward facing dog. From our down dog, we're going to reach the right leg towards the sky as we inhale. And then back down to down dog as we exhale. Shift the weight towards the right foot. Inhale, three-legged dog, left side. Exhale, downward facing dog. Once more each side. Keep pressing the ground away with the hands. Inhale, left leg up. Right leg up, sorry. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. We do both sides. And then inhale, whichever leg you didn't do. Exhale, release. Yeah, beautiful. Bring the knees down onto the mat. Keep the hips lifted. And then bring your hands to heart center. Here we want to focus on squeezing the bum. So squeeze the glutes together, press the hips forward, find that lengthening in the hip flexors, and then take an inhale, find this drawing up of energy from the pubic bone all the way up the front body, shining the heart towards the sky. <sighs> Focusing on that lengthening up rather than going back. Navel to heart space, really squeezing the bum, push those hips forward, take one more inhale here. Find your child's pose as you exhale. Beautiful. Take a moment here, come back to your breath. If your body's craving any movement, remember that this is your practice. Take it, whatever you need, meet yourself there. Ah. Okay. Last couple of hip mobility exercises. So when you're ready, come up to a kneeling position. Okay, we're going to um, come face the back of our mat. We are going to bring the left leg so that the shin is more or less parallel to the back edge of our mat. And then bring the right knee close to the left foot. We bring the right foot out to the side so that the right shin is parallel to the edge of the mat. We're going to attempt this without using our hands. So let's lift the right hip up. And then without moving the feet, bring the knees up and then come to face the other side. <sighs> Lifting the left hip, beautiful. Other side, bring the knees over towards the left. You might find that you come to move a little bit towards the side of the mat and that's absolutely fine. Once more each side. Bring the knees over towards the right, lifting the left hip. We're not moving the feet. And then over back towards the left. Beautiful. Okay, if you've come off your mat, just keep your legs in the same position, but just bring yourself back on your mat. Okay, from here, again, without using the hands. We're going to attempt lifting the hips up. So pressing into the feet and into the shins. Let's lift the hips up, shift the weight. And then this left foot, we're going to bring it towards the side of our mat so it's in line with the left knee. Press into the top of the right foot and then lift the right knee and then place this right foot in the back or on the back of your mat towards the, it's becoming the front. Press into this right foot and come all the way up to standing. Beautiful. Let's reverse it. So step the left foot back and then bring the left knee down. Bring the foot towards the midline of the mat and the body. Find your balance and then bring the right foot behind you. Woo, maybe you're a bit unstable like me. And then the knee 
down, and then the bum down. Okay, let's shift the weight over towards the right. It's okay if you completely come off your mat. Really pressing into the legs. Lift the hips up. Bring the right foot out to the side a little bit in line with the knee. Press into the top of the left foot. Lengthen the leg, lift the knee. And then bring the left foot onto the earth in front of you. Press into the left foot. Inhale, lengthen the right leg and come all the way up to standing. Maybe you're completely off your mat like I am and that's perfect. Let's come back to the top and then reverse it. So step the right foot back and then right knee down. Beautiful. Bring the foot towards the midline of the mat or body and then bring the left foot behind you. It's testing this. <laughs> bring the left knee down and then bring the hips down. <sighs> Amazing. Okay, lengthen the leg out in front of you wherever you are, toes towards the face. Tailbone and sitting bones towards the earth. Inhale, gather up energy, reach the arms up, fold forward as you exhale. <sighs> <sighs> Two breaths here. Amazing, okay. We're going to roll all the way back up and then bend the knees, hold onto the knees with your hands and then roll all the way down onto the mat. Keep the feet flat on the earth, knees bent, arms by your side. Press into the feet, find a tuck in the tailbone. Inhale, lift the hips towards the sky, really squeezing the bum at the top. So this is super important. We're not arching in the back, opening the rib cage. We press the bum, open the hips towards the sky. <sighs> Beautiful. We'll be here for about four more breaths. A little optional challenge is to shift the weight towards the left foot, perhaps lift the right leg towards the sky. And then we can bring it back down, shift the weight towards the right foot, lift the left leg towards the sky. And then bring it back down. Take one more inhale here. And exhale, release. Back body to earth. Beautiful. Knees towards the chest. Give yourself a little rock side to side. And rock yourself back all the way up to a seated position. Amazing. Okay, from here we're going to go do a nice little hip by hip, I mean glute, <laughs> nice little glute massage. So have your feet flat on the earth in front of you, knees bent. Bring the left hand behind you and then grab the foot with the right hand. From here, roll over onto your left glute, giving it a nice little massage. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Perhaps you find a sweet spot and you stay there. Maybe you even lift the right leg off. Be playful, find what works for you. Maybe even come onto the forearm. Oh, it's juicy. <laughs> and slowly come back to center. Beautiful. Soft side. So right hand behind you. Lift the right foot. Grab it with the left hand. And then roll onto your right glute. <sighs> Remember that the whole body is connected. So try not to be too floppy. Keep engaging, you know, the core the body, find your stability muscles so you're not flopping everywhere. <sighs> Amazing, and slowly come back to center. Let's bring the left ankle on top of the right knee. Perhaps we lengthen the right leg, maybe you know that already you're able to take it into the full figure four posture, that's up to you. Feel free to have the right leg long, and if this is enough, I invite you to stay here. Otherwise, you can bend the right knee towards the chest to take it a little bit deeper. Here, I invite you to press the hands into the earth, shining the heart up towards the sky. Oh, giving our glute and IT band a nice little stretch out here. And then release. Let's do the other side. So feel free to start with the left leg long and then bring the right ankle on top of the right knee. Option to stay, this is absolutely perfect. Option to bend the left knee towards the chest. Again, being super mindful that we're not hunching in the shoulders, hands behind us to shine the heart 
Encourage that chest towards the right leg. Beautiful. Take one more breath here. And slowly release. Let's bring the soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. If you notice yourself sort of hunching forwards, I invite you to perhaps sit on a pillow or a block if you have one available. We'll stay here for today. If you know that you're able to take a fold forward, feel free to do that in your own practice. Being mindful about your body, being gentle with yourself. <sighs> Allowing gravity to do its work with the knees here. Maybe it feels good to close off the eyes for a moment. Keeping all of that energy inward, all of that work that we've done. The hips is actually the second place in the body where we hold the most emotional tension. So building strength in the hips, mobility, flexibility. It's not just good for our physical body, but it's wonderful for our emotional body as well. <sighs> Beautiful. Stay here. Find your breath. Four more breaths. Allow the breath to be deep in the belly. Amazing. This is where I leave you today, my friends. I hope your hips are feeling nice and warm and loose. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for practicing with me today. Mm -hmm.